Okay, this is going to be a quick little study on uh, what's called the capped red. And uh, there's quite a discussion on energetic form and I believe overunity.com. And I offered uh, with Conrad for us to take a look at this and see if we can determine if there's anything to it. And if so, uh, exactly what it is. So what I'm doing is I'm starting out at a baseline. I have a 10 microfarad, 35 volt electrolytic, made by Nichicon, I believe is the correct pronunciation. To start out with, this particular capacitor is being shorted for 15 minutes with an alligator clip lead. And when that's done, I'll come back and show you the next test so we can set up our baseline for our observations. Okay, so it's been enough time now that we can start out here. And what I've done is I've got a metal clip on the can of the capacitor and I'm going to take and measure the capacity from the can to each one of the leads of the capacitor and then we'll measure the capacitor and we'll see what the results are. I'll be using a meter and right now my test leads just laying on the bench are reading 2.77 nano farads and we'll use that as a baseline and remove it from any calculations. Okay, here I have the positive lead to the negative lead of the capacitor, the negative lead of the meter to the metal clip going to the can, and we're reading 1.2, well actually it's going down, call it 1.2 microfarads. Now that's microfarads, not nanofarads. So here I have the negative lead of the meter to the can of the capacitor the positive lead to the positive lead of the capacitor and we're reading 1.31 microfarads. Okay now we're measuring the capacitor as it normally should be measured the negative lead of the meter to the negative of the capacitor, the positive lead of the meter to the positive lead of the capacitor and lo and behold we're reading 10.2 microfarads so I think we'll make the assumption that this can is not connected to either terminal. I'm going to be using a combination uh, digital analog meter here and I've got a lead acid battery that measures right now at 12.33 volts. I'm measuring this, any start voltage that might be on this capacitor even though it was shorted. As we know electrolytic capacitors have a tendency to recover some voltage. So right now the meter is saying that it's reading uh, 0 0.03 volts. So we'll go ahead and make our connections as per the diagram if I understand it correctly. I'll be using a super white lead which requires 3.6 to 3.7 volts to begin lighting. I've turned the bench light out and I'm going to go ahead now I have the positive terminal of the battery connected to the shell of the capacitor and I'll go ahead and hook up the negative to the negative side of the LED and we're seeing a charging I'm still across the capacitor measuring the voltage I see absolutely no light coming out of the lead yet our charge is pretty much leveled off and it's now beginning to drop. Uh, still no light out of this lead. So that doesn't seem to be doing anything for me. What I will do at this point is go ahead and remove that higher voltage super white lead and replace it with a red lead which should take about 1.65 to 1.75 to uh, begin to show light. So I'll come back with that. Okay, I have the red LED installed now and I'm not going to short that capacitor out but it's continuing to drop. It's measuring 0 0.23, 0 0.22. It's, it's still continually going down. So I'll go ahead and hook that negative lead back up again and we'll see what happens. Okay, the negative lead is connected. I have nothing out of the red LED. The capacitor is 0 0.25, 0 0.26. And it seems to be holding for a well, while there. It went to 0.27, but we're not seeing a rapid charge or discharge at this point. 
and they have nothing coming from that lower voltage red lead. Okay, so the inventor says that it loves voltage, so I've taken two lead acid batteries, put them in series, and we have 24.6 volts, and I'll go ahead and uh, connect the meter across the capacitor and we'll give it another shot. We're in the same situation as we were at first. Our voltage that we're measuring across that capacitor is declining. And I'll go ahead now and hook up the negative lead and we'll see what happens with the 24.6 volt. Okay, we're seeing a slight charge again as we did before. And it reached its peak and it's now declining. And we have nothing coming out of that lead. Not even the faintest amount of glow. So obviously I'm doing something wrong. I'm going to have to go back to the form and see if uh, I misinterpreted these schematics and we'll see what transpires from that point.